Coming off an 8-1 loss in Fairview, the Huskies were on the verge of letting the series slip away from them down two games to one. They were going to have to lean on midseason acquisition Brody Nelson again, who has faced an average of 49 shots a game in the series. In the first period, the Huskies with a couple of good chances. Kenton White makes the pad save on the point shot, and then Cody Disher's chance on the rebound is blocked. In the second, Connor Madsen gets around. Jordy Potter has some room to work with, but Nelson makes the blocker save. Then it's another good chance for the Flyers. Morgan Johnston in tight, but again, it's stopped by Nelson. Later, loose puck comes to Liam Yasinski in front, but Nelson stretches out to make an incredible toe save, going full extension to keep this one knotted up at zeros. This one was still tied nothing nothing late in the third when the Flyers break out on a two-on-one, but again, Nelson makes the initial save and then turns aside the rebound. Then with less than two minutes to go, Paul Beagle can't hold it in at the point. Anthony Ruggiero takes off with the puck, then feeds it over to Jacob Lang, who taps it into the open cage. The Huskies pick up the first goal of the game with a minute and 38 seconds left on the clock. But before it was all said and done, the Flyers get another couple of great chances, but Nelson is there to turn them all aside. He finished with 42 saves for the shutout, an absolutely stellar performance from the netminder as the Huskies even the series up at two. He's been fabulous. Uh, you know, I mean, he's a big reason why we brought him in here. We, we needed help in that end, and uh, certainly has done his job. Just prepared like every other game. I uh, came to the rink, you know, and uh, the whole team was behind me this game, and uh, they did everything to help me, so it was a team effort for sure. Game 5 goes Tuesday night in Fairview, where the Huskies have yet to win this year. Peter Houston, CJDC TV Sports, Fort St. John.